girl starts getting married. It's something about this kind of time in our lives. And as a result, people have been asking me, Annie, who's the kind of guy that's gonna make a you his wife? So I tell them, well, he's got George Clooney's salt and pepper hair, but he can sing like John Legend, dance like Fred Astaire, yeah. He's got all that 1940s Humphrey Bogart swag, and a voice like Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict People tell me, Annie, that's great, but don't you want someone who's real? And I say, I can't help it, I blame the media for the way that I feel. He's gotta look like David Beckham in his underwear, but he's sweeter than that guy from Slumdog Millionaire. And I don't know why, but I always thought Bill Nye was cute. Gotta have Neil deGrasse Tyson's mind and charm, but he's got Michael Phelps's body or Michael Phelps's arms, and just like Stephen Colbert, oh, he can make me laugh in a voice like Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, no. Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch. A pro athlete, he is Atticus Finch with the Senate seat. He's got Obama's smile, Dr. House's blue eyes. He's just about as righteous as Jesus Christ. Okay, that last one's a stretch. I think I can probably deal with less than Jesus. But if I'm supposed to look like the girls in magazines, well, I will hold men up to the standards that they've set for me. So if you've got to have your model, then I've got to have Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch. I'll just take him in full. Forget everything else I said before. Just him would be cool. But isn't he gonna get married? Oh, oh, oh. And, like have a baby and stuff? Oh, oh.